Today I want to take quite a quick look at this and I hear what you're saying Adam we've seen this before but actually you haven't seen this particular one. This is the UM25C from Rui Deng. Oh hang on a minute I've been told off for pronouncing it Rui Deng. Uh, apparently it's Huawei. We. Either way, I think I'm probably butchering the name and we'll just move on and forget I ever said anything. So, much as before, this comes in a nice tin and there's a piece of paper covering, well, it's card, covering the actual device itself. And this one is blue, which is quite nice uh, to see. And uh, it's got a bit more writing on the back of it as well. But uh, before we proceed any further, I'm going to remove the screen protector and now I've managed to find the edge there we have it so that will hopefully be better than last time so let's have a look at the physical differences here well the most obvious one is the uh, top one the UM24 is green and the UM25 is blue but the uh, the size is physically the same and the screen is also the same size we still have a USB a uh, male connector and a USB a female connector on each side of the unit the differences um, start when we lift the uh, units onto their side and at the top the UM24 just has two buttons but the UM25 at the bottom has a different button but it has USB C both input and and output so that's certainly an advantage for the UM25. On the other side well on the UM24 we had that micro USB connector and it's still present on the UM25. Slightly different buttons again but also on the UM25 we have a slide switch there on the right hand side. Now I think this is a sensible addition because if you remember from my previous video which I guess I should link up here um, these have bluetooth communication in them or at least there is a bluetooth option the um24 and the um25 do not have bluetooth but the um24c and the um25c have uh, bluetooth communication so uh, that little module is sat right at the bottom here and this little rocker switch uh, allows you to turn that bluetooth module on and off so you can turn it off when you're not using it and uh, this device will consume less power from whatever you're testing uh, but that wasn't available on the um24 so i think that is a sensible uh, enhancement to the design so I've grabbed this power bank here uh, which ha conveniently has the ports in the right sort of place for these two meters. This is an OKZU OK 10,000 milliamp um, power bank and actually I think this one's really quite good. Um, I think the two outputs are in parallel so uh, we should see the same voltage on both these units but uh, let's try and plug both of them in at the same time. Uh, not too bad. Um, clearly, you can see that the logo has changed. The company logo has been updated and it's slightly animated on the UM25. Not really very important, but it is. Um, now, both are showing 5.1 volts, but as we can see down here, the UM25 is showing um, both voltage and current to a, an additional decimal place there so uh, we're seeing 5.10 on the um24 and we're seeing 5.103 or 104 on the um25 so that's one of the major improvements here between the two devices that i think they've changed the analog to digital converter in here and we've now got that additional decimal place so we'll plug a load into each of these. I'm just using these cheap resistive loads and I suspect they won't be exactly the same. They're set to one amp each, but I'm sure they'll be slightly different. Yeah, there's a, well, 20 milliamps difference there, something like that. But uh, also the voltages are drifting slightly as well. Now, I'm pretty sure this does have uh, parallel output. So uh, perhaps the... Uh, current sense resistor in uh, the uh, um24 is a little bit higher causing that voltage drop um, to be a little bit higher who knows they're not 
a million miles away from each other um, it could be even contact resistance but uh, yeah we are seeing a slight difference there but regarding the two screens, let's just move that so we can see it a little bit better. Uh, they're showing exactly the same information bar that extra decimal point on the UM25. So uh, let's move on to the next screen. On the next screen, we're seeing the same voltage and current, and uh, those are perhaps drifting a little bit more from each other. Uh, but this screen is all about the D plus and D minus uh, voltages on both units here. And uh, as you can see, the UM25 is struggling to identify which mode this is charging in. And that's because, well, these resistive loads, they don't negotiate a charge. So uh, this floating voltage here, which is quite different to the floating voltage up here but this floating voltage at least um, is making it hard to determine what type of charging mode it's in. The third screen is absolutely identical on both units just showing the uh, accumulated milliamp hours and milliwatt hours. The fourth screen is identical between the two units. This is a function to determine the resistance of a USB cable. But again, if you want to see that in action, take a look at that UM24 video. This next screen here is quite different. Uh, on the UM24, we see the voltage curve here. Well, it's not much of a curve because the voltage is staying very constant. Uh, but on the UM25 here, we see the voltage in yellow, but also the current in blue. And that's quite nice to see both of those on the same graph because on the UM24, we need to flip to the next screen and now we've got current showing in the graph. So this is showing both at the same time, which is excellent. The only problem is we lose that scale um, in the UM25. So you have to start counting these uh, segments here. And uh, well, that's three before the line. So uh, the top there says 5.3 volts. So I'm assuming that's five volts and uh, 4.5 at the bottom so one two three four five yeah so each one of those separate squares there at the moment at least is showing 0.1 of a volt the last screen is settings and uh, the top three options are the same on both units um, i've changed the time out of the screen here to nine minutes um, the brightness is set to four and this uh, option i got wrong last time wasn't it this it, you can change between centigrade or fahrenheit uh, but the um25 has two more options here and that's uh, about changing the background color and the foreground color of the screen if you are interested in doing that it's taken me a few attempts to get the um25c to connect to my computer but eventually with a bit of persistence it's happened uh, the bluetooth pin is one two three four but it took me three or four attempts to uh, actually type that in before it actually accepted it anyway we're into the software and of course you can control the device itself the um25 um, and you can move through those display pages um, on the unit itself and that changes almost instantly we can also see the various memories we've got here for the accumulated capacity and energy uh, that's flown through that meter and of course we can clear all that data as well. Your live statistics here or your live information is shown in these large numbers here but we can also see those uh, records in this section the milliamp hours milliwatt hours that sort of thing and how long uh, this device has been drawing power. You can change the brightness level and the auto screen off time and see the D plus and D minus and also the temperature. All of that is excellent. Uh, but one of the biggest improvements up here is the graph. Now, uh, it previously, on the previous version of the software, there were two separate graphs, one for voltage and one for current. But just like the actual device itself, they've now put both of those measurements on the same graph, which is excellent. But at the moment, as you can see, they're both just tracking along the same line and that's not very useful but you can click here and change these values so let's change that to i don't know eight volts maximum and two amps maximum so we've changed the scale and now those lines aren't tracking in the same place and hopefully we can see a bit more information but previously I commented that it was a bit annoying having to ex um, export both the voltage 
and the current separately uh, but now that's all been uh, improved with this graph so uh, for instance we can export that data to Excel and we can see the uh, the, ti uh, the time record number I guess the voltage um, at each of those points and the current at the same time so we can soon select those fields and those fields and create a quick graph if we wanted to I thought it'd be interesting to open the UM24C software and connect to the UM25C, but clearly they're not compatible. Uh, the voltage here is showing as 49.8 volts. That additional decimal place on the UM25 is causing a problem for the UM24 software. So let's have a quick look at the stats here between the two different devices. The voltage range is very similar, but obviously the resolution is higher on the UM25, although I've put one too many zeros in there, I think. Um, that is at the cost, however, of accuracy. 0.2% on the UM24, but 0.5% on the UM25. 3 amps on the UM24, 5 amps on the UM25 and again the similar sort of stats uh, for the current uh, readings as well more uh, decimal places but slightly less accuracy so I enjoy playing with USB charger doctors and I've enjoyed comparing these two the UM25 is a little bit more expensive than the UM24 I think there's about four dollars in it and obviously I'll put some links in the description below Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.